Hi everyone, my name is Kyle. I'm here with Makers Mercantile and it is time to reveal what's inside our June knit box. We're excited about this one. It's one we've been working on really hard. So um, I'm gonna open this up and give you an idea of what's inside. So if you are a subscriber, we wanna say thank you, hooray. And if you haven't gotten your box yet, uh, pause or stop. Here's your moment to pause or stop because you, if you don't wanna know what's inside, then now's the time. So we're waiting, we're waiting. Okay, I guess they're gone. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this up and check out what is inside the box. So inside the box each month, as you know, there's always some kind of a little joke or a pun from our friend, Jonathan. And this one says, you can winterize your home by adding insulation and sealing gaps. And you can summarize your home by saying how many bedrooms and bathrooms it has. Summarize. Seasonal puns just come to me automatically. <laughs> it makes me laugh even when it's, I don't know, it's kind of funny. Winter and seasons and things, I guess. So um, inside here, of course, we have very considerate tissue paper. I don't know why we call it that, but that's what I call it. And then... Uh, the yarn this month, and uh, I'm so excited about this. We've worked, like I said, we've been working on it for a while, is, da, 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 da. so this is a yarn called Kinky Socks. So this is our, our yeah, Kinky Socks. So this is our, our uh, kinky yarn that is a fingering weight yarn that is 75% um, superwash uh wool and 25% nylon. There's about 440 yards um, in a coil. So it shows up um, as a coil like that. Um, and then generally what we do is we encourage our, our customers, our makers, that's you, to dye the yarn some, somehow, right? You can use Easter egg dye or Kool-Aid or commercial dye like acid dye, that kind of thing. You can run it with Sharpie markers and make the Sharpie markers uh, color bleed by using rubbing alcohol. There's all kinds of videos on our website and tutorials and things that give you ideas of how to, how to um, add color to this yarn or you can just work with it the way it is but what we did is we decided to take this yarn and make stripes so um, i'll show you more about that in just a second so we have the yarn in here we also have mm, yay pixie sticks so we have some pixie sticks so a little uh celebration of childhood at least for me when i was a kid i always thought the pixie sticks were a little bit larger but now as a little as a kid as an adult they are not quite as big but whatever they're a little tube of sugar which is really delicious you're getting a little uh tin and inside the tin there are um a couple of little stitch markers these are the addy soul stitch markers so you can have a couple of those and there is inside here also an eat knit and die sticker so you can add this to your um um, to your computer or, or a drinking glass or whatever it is, wherever, um, like thermos, wherever you like to collect your stickers, maybe on a project book. And the project itself, the pattern is stuck in, in here. There it comes. The project itself is called the Pixie Socks. So you're going to get the pattern, of course, the pattern, the Pixie Socks pattern by um, Kim Olson. Sorry, I'm trying to grab one more paper out of there. And this is what the socks look like. So they're pretty simple little socks. So what we did is a little bit of um, experimental bath, I guess. Just uh, knitted a swatch in the round and counted how many, um, about how many stitches um, in the, the repeat on this tube. So I'll take this up, apart from here. Um, about how many stitches on this tube it was for, you know, an inch worth of, of color. So that's about an inch there. And you can see here's the big giant tube. Um, and so that's how we dyed it. So we laid out um, a big sheet of plastic wrap and we marked off that amount of space and we labeled what each one of them was and we dyed this yarn for all of you. So once it was dyed, it was heat set and then rinsed 
um, hung out to dry and then hanked up. So you'll be able to um, work from the ends. So this is an end. So you can work from the end by just pulling on here and these knit stitches will unknit themselves. And the yarn itself is kind of kinked. You can see how that's kinky. That's where the kinky part comes from. But the way to use this yarn, and there is a little um, a sheet in here that explains how to do this, is you'll find uh, once you undo the yarn, you'll have all this yarn, you'll find a spot like this. And this undyed spot is done on purpose. So what you'll do is you'll take um, a pair of scissors and just chop right in the middle here to create um, two separate pieces of yarn, right? Two separate tubes of yarn. And you'll notice that these are more or less artistically dyed um, stripes that are the same. So you're gonna cut here, chop, 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 and then um, you might have to pick out a few little loose bits of yarn, but both of them will unravel. And on each end, this is where you'll begin your socks. So it doesn't matter whether you're doing toe up or uh, cuff down socks. In this case, I believe these are cuff down. Yes, cuff down. So you start at the cuff and then work your way down. And once you get to wherever you need to be, you can do your toe and be done and then repeat for the second sock and it should be um, more or less about the same on both socks. So here are the two socks we have that, uh, that Kim made and more or less, they're pretty, they're pretty close. So we were really proud of our experiment for the, um, the pixie sock yarn and we're really happy to get to do some dyeing for you. So um, that, my friends, is the June knit box. So we hope you have fun knitting a pair of socks. And if you don't want to make socks, you certainly could uh, simply begin at one end of the of this coil, work towards that center. And when you get to that spot that's all white yarn, just cut the yarn, unravel the white bit, rejoin the yarn, and you could continue. So you could make a shawl that starts at a point and gets it bigger and bigger and bigger until that center point. And the center point would be where that white um, little yarn would be cut that white section out, rejoin the yarn, and then start your decreasing, and you can make a corner-to-corner -corner, um, shawl out of this as well. Of course, that pattern is just sort of um, improvised right now, live. <laughs> so uh, there are other patterns, of course, you could make with it. So hopefully that's lots of fun. Next month's is also going to be uh, super great. We've got a couple uh, projects lined up ahead of time, which is super fun. So um, we hope that you are having fun making the things in the knit box, and we encourage you to tell your friends and share with them. If you need to pause or take a break, you can always just send us a message or give us a call. Let us know, and we can uh, either pause or cancel subscriptions as well. But um, there is room for other friends if you want to join come on and join. So again, thank you. Hope it was fun seeing what's in the knit box. Hope you love the yarn as much as we loved making it for you. And we will see you next month. All right. Bye everyone.